Hey guys, welcome to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This game has probably already been overdone to hell, everyone's probably played it already, you've seen it a thousand times, but this is my first time playing it, or seeing any of the game. Also, I've never played a Legend of Zelda game, so that's great. I've played the second one on the NES, but I think people don't really like that one too much, I don't know why, I thought it was fun. I was at my other household where I didn't have any of my recording stuff, that's why you haven't been getting videos for a while. I've been trying to put some scheduled uploads out, but it, ha it hasn't been enough to really fill the gaps and get some daily uploads in. I played a little bit, I completed the first like three shrines, I don't know how much of the game that is, probably not a lot because it didn't take very long. Like I said, I also have Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'm ready to play it, I would love to start a series because it's a really fun game. But I've been doing, I've been trying to 100% the game, so I've been doing all the collectibles and stuff. I haven't really gotten too far in the main story. So that's why it's kind of still like okay for a series, because if I'm just focusing on main story quests and less of like the side collectibles, then it'll still feel kind of fresh to me. And I don't know a lot of like the main story spoilers yet, so it could still be entertaining to watch as a series. And it's just a fun game, so let me know if you want to see that as the other series to replace Skyrim and Neo slots. What's happening here? Link? Link's dead. Open your eyes. I have my volume turned off. I'm sorry if it's annoying I'm talking over the beginning cutscene, but again, this game's been kind of played a lot, and I feel like most of you have already played it or seen it, so I'm gonna talk over some of the cutscenes, especially the longer ones. Like this one. Link, wake up from your hundred year slumber. We left you in your underwear. You're lucky we didn't leave you naked. This game is E for everyone, so we couldn't include that. God, and I have to say, again, this is my first Switch game as well, so I'm getting used to the Switch console itself. I haven't played it at all yet. And man, the controllers are weird. I'm using the setup where you have each, I guess, I'm going to say nunchuck, I don't know, in each hand, each little controller. If you don't know, it also comes with like the Pro Controller, which makes it, it sets it up a bit more like an Xbox One controller, where it's like, Kind of a big square, but it, that's just so awkward. I don't know. So this is the handheld version is my favorite so far. I'll probably experiment a bit more later. So right here we're getting our iPhone. I guess that's useful. It's kind of funny that they included this. Like I know about the old Legend of Zelda games, like Ocarina of Time. I've seen gameplay of it. I just have never actually played it, even though I totally want to. I can't wait to do some uh, Legend of Zelda first time playthroughs in the future once I get my hands on an N64 or whatever other console that the games are on, I don't even know. We opened the door, we got our Sheikah slate. Let's go ahead and open some some chests, get my armor so that I'm not naked through the whole game. I've heard a bunch of people saying that you can just play the whole game naked. I don't know, I don't know. It's one of those things on the internet, like when you're trying to avoid spoilers for a game or just avoid gameplay of the game in general and not like spoil anything. It's impossible, especially with such a hyped game like this where everyone's talking about it. There's all these new, like, memes flying around about Link, and I've seen all of them, so... I guess I know a little bit about the game. Besides a little bit that I've already played this morning, which I don't think was a lot. But I started unlocking some powers, which is really cool, and giving you all these new, like, puzzles that you can do. Opening up into the brand new world after sleeping for so long. God, the controls are still weird to me, even though I was playing it earlier. Here we go. Now we get the intro. This game is freaking beautiful. Once I get my hands on a GameCube and an N64, I will be playing a lot more classic Mario and just Nintendo games in general. Legend of Zelda, Mario, um, other Nintendo classics. I can't really think right now. I'm trying to focus on the gameplay. And I'm sure you guys are sick of me talking about Mario when we're playing... When we're playing Legend of Zelda, like, what are you talking about, Epic Biscuit? Hello, old man. I don't think we really need to talk to him. Actually, I don't know, just in case. Well met, stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul. Who are you? Me? I'll spare you my life story. I used to be Santa, but now I am in this mystical elven world. I'm actually pretty sure you don't have to talk to him at all, so I'm not going to. I'm sorry if I'm about to miss out on something huge. Just help yourself to that. What are you planning to use it as? Everything. Set things on fire as a weapon. It's a secret. I see. You're going to stick it up your butt, you say. Do not swing it around without purpose. Okay, I'll keep... I'll keep it in check, old man. Don't you worry. I'll also take your baked apple. 
I beg your pardon, I do believe that is my baked apple. Oh ho ho, forgive me, I could not resist pulling your we- I mean your leg. We also get a woodcutter's axe, which you can actually use for cutting down trees. And what I've learned about this game in my little bit of time playing it, okay, I get the tutorial stuff, is that this game is so- if you think something makes sense and would work, it works. Like, cutting down a tree with an axe, it works. Picking up a skeleton's skull off the ground after it drops it, it works, and then you can throw it. It's just so cool. And then this is something I actually discovered by myself, of course. I saw this little cliff here, and then you're like, why is there a circle? Obviously it wants me to jump. So do it, pussy. You jump in right to the circle, this thing shows up. What the hell it is, I have no idea. Yeah, ha ha, you found me. Ha, huh, you're not Hestu. I'm gonna stop with the obnoxious voices, alright? You can see me? I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. I guess I should do a voice, otherwise I'm just gonna read in monotone. Well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. It's his seed. They're hiding in all sorts of places, find him. He, and he basically says if something looks unnatural, like a cliff leading to a lily pad circle in the water, check it out, because it's most likely gonna be one of those nature children. God, how do I play this game? I own a DS, but still, the Nintendo button layout, the A, B, X, Y, it's all flipped. So it's very confusing for a console player, or a, I guess, PlayStation slash Xbox player, to switch over to this. Especially Xbox, because I guess PlayStation uses shapes, don't they? Hoist! Uh, boom. Ooh, these rocks can explode. Ooh, that's interesting. I didn't even notice that. That's cool. So, later you unlock- oh, hello. Link. 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 Head for the point. I don't know why I'm voicing over it when sh there actually is voice acting. Again, I have my volume turned down so I can't really hear it. Sorry if that gets obnoxious. Hello, sir. Ooh, the one thing I never figured out is how do you, like, dodge or anything? And please feel free to, like, help me in the comments as long as it's not a spoiler. But... Yeah, like, I can't seem to dodge. Besides running around like an idiot, I can't actually, like, roll or... I know there's a block once you find a shield, but without the shield, it's not possible. I don't know. Oh, that's right, I picked up this sword. He's trying to throw a rock at me, idiot. You can combine all sorts of stuff, make different elixirs. I'll get to that eventually, once I get the required materials. What will be in the chest? Will it be different than last time? No, it will not. It'll be the same thing, the Traveler's Bow. So now we have that, which is awesome, but we don't have any arrows, so we have to go find that before we can actually shoot it. And with my experience so far, the bow is only really useful, not really for actual like physical damage, but more for just shooting things down and using the environment, which you do a lot of in this game, and I love environmental combat, and this game does it so well. In almost every situation, there's a way to take out the enemies beforehand. So now, we're gonna head to this point on our map, and this will unlock the towers. And then, we get to go find the shrines, and after I find three of the four, and I just could not find the fourth one, and then I decided to stop playing and wait until I started this series, so... That's pretty much where I'm at with my overall experience with the game. I also haven't found out how to slide down hills on your shield yet, which I'm hoping... Is, like, an ability unlocked later in the game, maybe, or... If I'm just, like, missing a button that I haven't discovered yet, I don't know. These guys are actually kind of tough. Like, especially the blue one, I don't actually want to really fight you right now. I guess I can take him out. He's not that tough. There we go, broke his shield. Oh, that's because the last hit... Well, it says it up there in the corner. You get a critical hit with the last hit of your weapon. Badly damaged, and it breaks, killing him. Perfect. I really wasn't able to take that guy out before. I had a tough time with him. I'm surprised I defeated him that easily. Ew, I got his guts? Wasn't this game rated teen? Picking up his guts off the floor. You know, take this game off the market now. So now I have this insanely good weapon. It does 12 damage. Well, insanely good for, you know, what level we're at. You're gonna break my shield, aren't you? I'm gonna waste it on these arrows. Alright, then we run. Don't shoot me. 
Jump up here. You think you're safe up there on your little tower? You were wrong. Get off my tower. We did it, and we unlock a chest. There's tons of areas with these bokoblins. Bokoblins? I don't know how to say their name yet. But yeah, there's always these little groups, little camps of them, and they almost always unlock a chest at the end, which usually has some sort of special arrow or weapon. Yep, see, fire arrows. As far as I know, there's no XP in this game, so there's no real reward for going out and defeating enemies and, like, grinding, which I guess is a good thing because I hate grinding. I'm sick of grinding after playing too much Monster Hunter. However, to get better weapons and arrows, you're going to need to fight these hordes of enemies and unlock chests and steal their weapons because the weapon durability, which is everyone's like biggest complaint with the game, is super low and your weapons will break really fast. Never get attached to a weapon because before you know it, it'll be gone if you use it too much. Like this really good weapon right here, it's probably gonna break any second now. Oh crap, what am I doing? See, it's badly damaged. And it broke, but I used it on the last hit, so I got that extra damage in. Grabbing a shield. I don't know why I'm, like, trying to sound like an expert at the game when I've barely played it yet. So don't take my word for it. I'm just kind of talking to, for the sake of talking and having commentary in the background. Tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. Yeah, Link, you're about to die. This is a quick adventure. Activate the lasers! Destroy the Earth, Link. Do it! End it now! Before Ganon takes over the world, just end it! Oh, how did I get up here? The Great Plateau Tower. And then what it does is it just collects all this info and just... A little bit of... A drop of knowledge just drops into your phone. The knowledge is just absorbed into your phone. Hopefully it's waterproof, because otherwise that thing just short-circuited. How is Zelda talking to him in his head? Like, isn't he just insane at this point? Like, what if Link is just still in a coma? And he's just imagining all this. There's Ganon in his pig snake form. I don't really understand how that's Ganon. I mean, at least they're doing something new with him instead of just... Uh, an oversized green pig. You must hurry, Link. Yes, ma'am. I will be right there. Oh, wait. I'm too weak to do anything. So I guess you'll have to wait around, princess. Where is, uh, where's my little friend? I'm expecting a little friend. Oh, he, there he is. Okay. That actually scared me. And I thought I'd have to go all the way back just to talk to him. My, my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower has just erupted, erupted, what the f- Has just erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken. It's called my boner. I did see you react as if you heard something coming from the castle. Hit the nail on the head, didn't I? Did I? Ah, oh, shite. I can't read. Did you happen to recognize this voice? Yes, it was M Zelda. That is unfortunate. Yeah, Link has amnesia after a hundred years of sleep. That'll usually happen, believe it or not. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a se Oh, God. B backstory. I'm sorry. I've already read this, by the way. That's why I don't care. If it's new dialogue, of course I'm going to listen to it. Uh, Santa, why are you looking at me that way? I must ask you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? 
Uh, not particularly. Well, you need not say a word. Your eyes reveal the determination within. He's just sleeping. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides with steep cliffs. If you were to try to jump off, well, you're pretty much dead. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, you could save the princess. Oh, wait, I'm gonna have to send you on some trials to get it. Sorry. Piqued your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down here on my wings, you know, although I can do that since I'm Santa Claus. Mm. Worry not, I will happily agree to give you my paraglider. But not for nothing, you'll have to suck my dick first. Alright, old man, let's do it. Open your log. Don't need to do that because I've already done this. Come, let me show you something. God, could you walk any faster? Don't be hasty, just follow me. Dude, we're at the end of the... Follow you where? You're standing there. I needed to take three extra steps, Link. Come on now, you hasty bitch. Do you see that structure there? It's the castle I was just talking about. Oh, it's the shrine, I'm sorry. It began glowing the exact moment these towers rose from the ground. Thank you for the long shot of that. I couldn't see it before. Why does Link just have his hands on his dick while he's staring at him? It's like, look how small he is. Is Link a child? I mean, he's asleep for a hundred years. Oh, crap. He's the Avatar, isn't he? Oh, I discovered the lore. Link is the Avatar. Oh, that's why he can form ice out of the water. Hey, you know what? This actually reminds me. This is kind of unrelated. But on the Wii, there was this Avatar game. Because I was super into Avatar, as any kid was who watched it on Nickelodeon, because it was on every day. Anyways, I was in a phase where I was just renting games constantly, and I thought it was the best thing ever. Because I never actually finished the games, I just played it for a bit, and then just turned it back in. But anyways, yeah, there was this uh, Legend of Legend of Zelda, what? An Avatar game. And you can actually, like, bend ice, and, like, shoot up earth pillars and stuff, and the powers were so cool. It was a super cool game. But I also had this weird thing as a kid where I hated games where the bodies would disappear like as soon as you would kill them and that's exactly what the game did and that was like such a huge turnoff for me for some reason now it's like what are you what were you on kid like the body disappears it's just to save the game from like the game wasn't pow it was ran on the wii okay give it a break magnesis trial in the omen owl shrine that one put your phone in charge it up for you link we're also gonna drip some knowledge right on there. Drip, 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 drip. All that, all years of knowledge just into one little, one little droplet. Boom, it splashes in Link's eyes and he just gains the power of the world. Now with the power of your phone, I guess you can raise metal. All right, okay, here's another thing that's weird. Oh, I just realized why I'm so stupid, guys. I had this major complaint with the Switch and I thought it was because my nunchucks were broken, or something, because whenever I would try to aim with the right stick, it would, like, just freak out on its own. Now I realize, I just realized this, that you point at the screen to get it to move where you want. I was so upset, I was like, how is my controller already broken? I just, I just bought it. Like, now I'm gonna have to return it and get a new controller? I, that's so stupid of me. I hate myself now. Anyways, now that that little spiel is over... Let's get back to work. Throw that down. We can jump right over that. Oh no, an enemy. <laughs> do I even have a weapon? Yeah, I do. Fall into the water. Fall into the water. And kaboom. This is a, a neat little puzzle here. Not very hard. You drop it right in the middle. Right there. Oh, crap. Again, did not take into account the fact that this metal seems to be very rubbery. Maybe if I put it closer to the ground, it won't... Stop! What is... Okay, something's going on here. Santa, did you rig this dungeon so I couldn't beat it? And then you're also like, ooh, a chest. That's so cool. Grab it and bring it right over here. Pull it closer to you. And then we drop it. What's inside? Hopefully some new arrows, a new weapon, perhaps? 
A bow? Wow, the same bow I already have. Thanks, game. Open up these doors. And we're done. Magnesis trial over. And that's probably the hardest one. I could not find the fourth one. I saw where it was. I just can't get to it. If someone could help me out or if they have any tips. I saw that there was a raft in the water and I think that might be it. Is that E.T.? Oh my god, I found E.T., guys. I just skipped the dialogue on accident. Whoops. Well, people are going to be pissed at me now. Ah, uh, it's nice to stretch my legs again. That dungeon was so grueling. Oh, here comes Santa gliding on in. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. G give me my paraglider. I encourage you to slow down or I'll stab you on the spot, Link. It's all connected to that slate you carry on your hip there. Par paraglider, please. I have yet to finish speaking, you impatient brat. Anyways, long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. There are those ET-looking poop stains you see in those dungeons below you. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared, or so it said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places across the land. On this plateau, 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 oh, Jesus. Alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of them, and I'll give you my glider. So I need to do more now. I said treasure, but I never said there would only be one treasure. Ha ha ha, got him. Whether it's one treasure or four, what's the difference for a go-getter yourself? Because it wastes my time, old man. Didn't you say that I should make haste for the princess and save the castle, and now you're giving me all these meaningless tasks? How about you make your way to the top of the tower? Are you joking? Oh ho ho, no, you actually have to do it. Don't worry, you can fast travel, and it's pretty damn cool looking too. Okay, I get it, thank you. Thank you, Santa, shut up now. Oh, Link, you're so impatient and young. I remember when I was the ripe age of six. I heard some time ago, I do not know if it actually works. Thanks, thanks for giving me a spiel on fast travel and then saying I don't even know if it works or not. What if this old man is just BSing everything and he actually knows nothing about the Sheikah tablet or anything. He's just like some old dude who's like homeless by that fire who just found me. He's like, oh, I need to get in this kid's pants. I mean, uh, help him save the princess. See ya, Gramps. I'm just gonna morph into blue energy and just tr teleport to the tower myself. What the crap? You're here, Santa. How did you get here so fast? Oh, ho, ho. Maybe they did purposely make him Santa, because seriously, oh, ho, ho. I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with me. Did you fly here? <laughs> you think I could fly? Well, you're right. I wanted you to join me here so we can have savage sex. I mean, uh, search for shrines. Did you know the scope on your Sheikah slate? Did you know about the scope? Jesus, I cannot speak today. Yes, you can use the scope to find things. Oh, ho, ho. Just a few tricks I picked up. Look at the scope and find the shrines. Thank you. So then we simply pull up our binoculars. And then we can look around. Now that I know I can aim with the controller, this is 100% more bearable. I actually thought Link was having like a seizure or my controller was actually broken when like I was first doing this. That is the shrine I have no idea how to get to. I do not understand how to get there whatsoever. And actually now that I'm looking at it, I might know. So never mind. <laughs> Basically what I'm saying is I just figured it out. I think you have to cut the tree down, cross, and then climb up there. Okay, got it. Sorry, I'm uh, prone to stupidity. Look at that. The world is mine. Me and Santa here. Kings of the universe. Oh, I'm gone. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I am going to have a blast with this game. I have been waiting so long. I'm sure you guys have either played the game or seen it before, but I know how hard it is to get a Switch, and not all of you can afford it. I barely could. But I've been saving up, finally got it. Let me know if you want to see Horizon Zero Dawn. And Skyrim and Neo are now on hiatus. That should be all the info you guys need to know. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.